Has anything shown us the need to be flexible and adaptable more than the coronavirus pandemic? Tremendous shifts in the ways we live our lives were necessary. Education was one of the most demanding areas requiring a change. Teachers and students were accustomed to the learning methods they've used for decades, but the circumstances required a new strategy. Teachers who normally met with their students face-to-face -face in a classroom began to deliver curriculum remotely. They answered the challenge valiantly because they cared deeply for their students. The way teachers quickly responded to the needs of their students is instructive for us all. Sometimes God calls us to do something different than what we're accustomed to. After Philip traveled throughout Samaria telling people about Jesus, in Acts chapter eight, God told him to do something new, something that probably seemed odd to Philip. Instead of directing him to another village, he told Philip to go to a remote wilderness road that led from Jerusalem to Gaza. There, Philip encountered a man who needed the very wisdom about God that he had been sharing in villages throughout Samaria. Philip helped the man understand the scriptures and even baptized him. That man took his newfound understanding about Jesus home with him, effectively bringing knowledge of Jesus to a new part of the world. Sometimes God asks us to continue serving him in the way we have been. Other times, he uses unusual circumstances, like a global pandemic, to point us in a new direction. In Philip's case, an angel spoke directly to him. However God directs our paths, our job is to be ready and willing to respond, even if we don't understand why. To actively heed the call we're given is an act of obedience to God, an opportunity to serve him.